A new trailer has come out for Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. In this fifth installment of the franchise, Ethan Hunt, played by Tom Cruise, and his IMF friends are faced with a new threat, this time a secret organization known as the Syndicate, which is also referred to in the trailer as the Anti-IMF. The movie is being directed by Chris McQuarrie, and along with Cruise, also stars Simon Pegg, Jeremy Renner, Alec Baldwin, Ving Rhames, and Rebecca Ferguson. Mission Impossible Rogue Nation opens on July 31st in AMC Theater everywhere. Dennis Byer, sell this trailer. A big buy for me. I love the look and the tone of it, the feel. I, I remember a few months ago on one of the shows when they moved the release date up to July 31st, I sold it. I was like, nah, there's no way they're going to make it. <laughs> it looks like I was wrong. It looks like they're going to have it. Uh, I like, you know, at first, uh, Ghost Protocol, I really liked it. Uh, I was like, okay, they should bring Brad Bird back for the next one. Now that I see what Chris McQuarrie is doing with this, I kind of like this rotating ca uh, door of directors so that each one comes in and while maintain the spirit of Mission Impossible, they, they each bring in their own style and ideas. And, and this one just looks great. I love the, the spinning car in the alleyway. Alec Baldwin adding in. You know, he's doing all these stunts. Christian, what do you think? This looks phenomenal. Big buy for me. I'm super excited for this movie. Because of the fourth one, what Brad Bird did, it, it and JJ did a good job on number three, but the fourth one just breathed a whole brand new life into the franchise. And this looks like Macquarie is continuing that. So I agree with what you're saying as far as bringing the new director, but as long as you're kind of continuing the wave of what the person did before you, um, because I think Brad Bird did that with, with JJ as well, too. It's, and nobody did it for the John Woo version, but, um, <laughs> but it, it was terrible. <laughs> but, but the, but this, this trailer, everything involved in it, it looks like Mission Impossible because I didn't love Jack Reacher, but I liked the action of what Macquarie did. And and this looks like that's times 100, and it looks like the team's in order, and you get those classic Mission Impossible moments when you're jumping through the scene. You get those big uh, those big moments in the, in the camaraderie between the team. I'm really looking forward to this movie, and it might be one of the... It, I don't know if surprise is the right word, but I think it's going to deliver on the expectations. I hope so, anyway. Mark? Oh, yeah, this is a huge buy. When Led Zeppelin is in the trailer yes. and is not the best part of the trailer, that's an impressive feat. I thought that they were selling this thing just on that one action sequence with Tom Cruise hanging on the side of the plane, which he actually did, which you should not try at home. There's so many other great action sequences in here, like the motorcycle chase that's oh, yeah. on that highway. It looks intense. The only thing I could nitpick is like, well, this story feels a lot like the last one where, oh, now we're on the run and we got to It's like, can we just be all friends again and just go after a bad guy instead of them chasing us? Then have something to prove that we're not the bad guys but that's such a small thing that if that's the way that we have to keep telling these stories I'm totally fine with it because the team that they built in Ghost Protocol has solidified and it seems like they're on the same page. Now, Jeremy Renner is talking a lot with Alec Baldwin. Is he going to get back in the field? Is he still going to be a good guy or is he going to be working two ways? I'm so intrigued by the plot lines in this film, but overall, I just want to see a great action movie. That's what this looks like to me. Isn't the storyline with the syndicate, the, the anti-IMF stuff, isn't yeah. that similar to the Spectre and Bond with what's coming yeah, out it does look similar for sure that's that you talking about crossovers and you, you guys were talking about it yesterday on the show be, I don't know if it can, it's paramount right is uh, yeah mm -hmm. so who knows maybe bond gets because I know you guys mentioned bond on yeah, because Bond's Bond is, franchise rights are going are lapsing for some. What about Mission Impossible and Bond? I mean, that would be interesting. This, you did a crossover. How about it's, that? If you kids work for the FBI, prepare to go on the run because you're probably gonna have yeah. to do it at some point in your career. 